Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making some infused salts. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to be using some fresh peppers. Um, they're a lot easier to use when you dice them depending on how you're going to be using them. Uh, you're going to be needing your table salt or your, I'm sorry, this right here is actually sea salt. Um, it's kind of coarse but not too coarse. And then uh, depending on what kind of salt you're going to make, if it's going to have different ingredients, um, you know, like maybe some dried uh, onions or some uh, powdered garlic or, you know, whatever your, your taste will be for the salt, um, you'll have that ready too. I have this right here. And today we're going to be making, um, the salt is actually, the peppers here is a Maruga scorpion and a ghost variety. And in here in this, here's the, the additives. Um, in here we have some lemon zest that I had dehydrated myself, ground it up a little bit. And then I also have some mango that I had dehydrated also the last night. I made this before with the, with, you know, the fruit being not dehydrated, you know, still fresh. And it does have a lot, a lot of moisture. So the problem with that is going to be is you're going to need to make a lot of salt or else you're going to have a lot of salt that's going to be very um, clumpy. And I mean clumpy, it, it gets kind of clumpy, but you know, if you get it in the little shaker and you kind of shake it up a little bit, it, it'll break down really easily. It just kind of sticks together a little more. So this is another way of doing it by drying it first. So when um, I go to puree this I guess you could say um, depending on what you're going to use you can use like a little bullet magic bullet or you can use an old school bocajete or grinder and yeah, that's what we're going to be using today well this is what I'm going to be using today so the first thing I am going to do is get my peppers and put them right in here and I'm gonna cut away but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grind this up and we'll get back to it just for time's sake so right back all right welcome back so I went ahead and I ground this up so it's pretty much like a paste if you're using maybe uh, some kind of blender or blending um, like a bullet a magic bullet or some kind of uh, you know something like that what you would do is um, you would add, if you're adding any kind of extras, you would add it in now. And then you can go ahead and just continue to kind of grind this in. It's going to start to turn to a, almost like a paste. And what you want to do is kind of get it all mixed in with the oils and the, all the little pieces of chili that's in here still you can even grind it up a little bit more um, I like to get all this done before I put the salt in because unless I'm making a powder I really don't want my salt to be powdery so we have the flavors of the lemon and mango in here just kind of get all much of this off I will put this back into the salt when I throw the salt in here so I can try to get all of this extra chili and flavor off of there and so now we get our salt this is about a, about a cup of salt pour that in right there and it's just gonna be a lot of mixing from here to really smell the flavors especially the the aroma of uh, super hot chilies the house is actually cleared out right now, so a lot of these videos I make on the, the fly. As soon as uh, I, I get a little chance or a good 15 minutes uh, alone uh, without clearing the house out when I make this stuff, it's, um, you know, really quick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop video. I'm going to just keep on mixing this, and I'll show you guys what the consistency, the consistency you, you want. Like I said, I'm going to kind of put this in here and... I'm not mashing or I'm not grinding. I actually just want the salt to get a hold of any oils or any of the fresh pepper grinds. 
and kind of put them into the chili because depending on the heat levels you want, you know, want something really enjoyable or you want something that's just going to give you that heat, you know, it's going to depend on how many peppers you put inside here. We only put uh, two peppers in here, uh, one ghost variety and one Beruga scorpion. So it's going to have some heat. I mean, you know, obviously the more peppers, the more heat, but this is just a quick video. Um, I will be doing um, one that's definitely a lot hotter, um, making flakes and things like that. So uh, I'm going to stop the video real quick. I'm going to mix this up and I'm going to show you guys what your chili is going to look like once you take the time and uh, do a good mix. All right, everybody, welcome back. So I have been um, stirring this for oh, about five minutes. And uh, I also added some salt because uh, even though it was just two peppers, it was uh, it had a lot of oil in it. And um, as you're mixing it, you can tell how, I guess you could say how dry the salt is. And um, when it doesn't, when it kind of comes together, um, as you're doing this, then you know that um, you're gonna have too much um, it's gonna be it's gonna be too um, too much liquid in the you know as the oil or the you know the the walls of the pepper that got all ground up and it doesn't really dry that well so what I did is I added another um, half a cup of salt I believe I got double check but I believe it was just half a cup and um, now it's definitely a lot a lot better it's not staying to big clumps it's pretty it's uh, falling apart fairly easily and um, this is kind of what you want it to look like and now after this you want to make sure that you know there there is going to be a couple of of spots that will have big chunks of pepper and I want to try to mix it up as well as possible you know this is um, you can really see it but it almost looks like Himalayan salt now if you didn't have all the little chunks of peppers in it so what I'm going to do now is actually get this and I will put it on a um, cookie tray uh, with some, you know, either put down some of the, the paper the, the, for you to uh, lay the salt down in, maybe aluminum foil or, you know, nothing, I guess. Um, I've done it before with no, uh, nothing under it, but I'll get this and put this on a cookie tray and I'll lay it out and I'll lay it out really thin, as thin as possible, and I would... If no one's home, I would go to my oven and put it on the lowest setting, and then I'm going to put it in there for about five minutes. Once it's um, down to the lowest setting, I'm trying to think what mine is, is like 150. Um, I leave it in there for about 10, five to 10 minutes or so, and then I will turn the oven off. I'll open up the oven and let let it just kind of air out, and uh, that's going to help the salt dry up a little bit more. So that way you won't have a lot of clumping when you put your salts together. So here's one that I made and you see how how easy it is. These things are not clumping up. Now if you don't dry it right, it's going to kind of be like a block and you have to kind of hit it and shake it around just so that way you could have it back to this form. But, you know, once you put it away and it kind of settles, this is going to turn into going to be a little more solid and then from there like I said you kind of give them a quick shake but um, a good way to dry them is put it in the oven for about five to ten minutes on its lowest setting um, I tasted the salt already it is pretty good it has a good heat to it uh, not too hot and then I have the sweet undertones of the of the uh, mango and just a hint of, of zest from the the lemon peels that I threw in there that I dehydrated. I put about two pieces of uh, lemon peel about this big and a couple little slivers of um, mango that I had dried up. It was probably maybe somewhere around a, a quarter of a, a, a mango. It wasn't a lot, but you do have um, the, uh, the little flavors in there. And if I wanted more of the fruit taste, I'll go ahead and do some more, um, add some more in. Uh, what I do is I said dehydrate them and turn them into a powder because the last time I put a little bit of mango in I had to make about four cups of salt because it was just so much liquid in there and there would have been no way it would have been dry enough to put it in some kind of salt shaker so 
you know, I hope you really guys enjoyed this video. You know, there's many ways to make infused salts. This is just the way that I do it. If you guys have any questions or any comments, please leave them uh, below. Uh, if you guys have any uh, videos that you guys like to watch, I do a decent amount of cooking and baking and things like that that I like to try to incorporate um, hot peppers in. I will be doing one very soon on making some fresh salsas that will be getting um, the peppers from the yard, from our little garden, also the tomatoes and stuff, and show you guys how to make a very, very tasty salsa. Um, you know, people that, that try it, they always, they always ask me what I put in it, and they think I throw something something they never heard of before in there because it, it just tastes so good. And it's really about the way you cook them, the peppers you choose, and the tomatoes. But we'll get all into that in that video. I really hope you guys like the video. Uh, if you guys like it, please subscribe. Uh, like the channel. And uh, I'll be with you guys hopefully with the next couple days with a new video. You guys have a great day.